By now, you should have a website and a design template using one of the website builder tools we've worked through in Lesson 3. So you have the house and all the rooms, but you need the furniture, the carpet, the paint, and the accessories. It's time to talk about the content that goes into your website. First, let's level set on what we mean by content. That word is used to describe a lot of things these days. In this context, the content for your website refers to the words, the images, the videos, and other items your audience will consume. Content is often the words on the page. We refer to this as copy. But a video is a piece of content. Images are pieces of content. A white paper or report presented as a PDF download is a piece of content. Every page on your website will have content on it. The trick is to make sure that each page has the right kind of content and the right amount of content to optimally serve that page's purpose for the site's visitors. For example, the Contact Us page will likely have a short message explaining to people how they can contact you, an address, phone number, and email address, and maybe a contact form they can fill out to send you a message. The copy is the main content. The form is an interactive content element. Maybe you even display a map of your location based on the address. That's a content element, too. Much more content than that, however, and you're probably overdoing what needs to be on a contact page. That page is meant to tell the visitor how to contact you. You don't need a thousand words to do that. But a product page is different. You need a product description, several images of the product, perhaps a video of the product as well. You will have pricing and maybe sizing information. If it's a highly technical product, you may want to include technical specifications or even a product manual. Then you'll need product reviews, a place for people to add their own review. For product pages, you'll need a lot more content. And those are just two examples of pages on your site. Why do we need a lot of content on those types of pages? Well, two reasons mainly, or to be more specific, for two audiences. Each website has two primary audiences. The first are people, the customers and prospective customers that land on your website and consume its content. You want them to land there and stay there. You want to move them to product pages and into a purchase funnel until they convert. So each page on your site needs to be optimized to serve the purpose it promises. Information about a product, a contact page, information about the company leadership, and so on. But you also want to move the person to the next step in purchasing from you. So, working backwards, a product page should be optimized to convince people to add to cart or make a purchase. A search page or product category page should be optimized to funnel people to a specific product page, and so on. Then there's the second primary audience, search engine spiders. These automated computer robots are programmed to visit every page of every site they can find and record an index of that page for the search engine. Google has spiders that scan the web continuously for new sites, new links, and pages it hasn't indexed recently, so its search engine database of what's out there is up to date. All the other search engines have the same thing. These are called spiders because they crawl around the web the World Wide Web. The index they help create at Google or Bing or Yahoo or whatever search engine the spider operates for is the information the search engine pulls from when someone searches for something. If a page on your site has enough information about that search, a link to that page may appear in the search result, giving you a chance at winning that searcher's click. Assuming your website will be publicly available and you want people to find you, your site will need to be optimized to enable those spiders to index your pages in such a way that you can attract visitors coming from search engines. This optimization helps you rank well for keywords and phrases your prospective customers may type into a search engine looking for products or services like yours. That's why content is so important. Without it, you have nothing to serve your site visitors to help them purchase from you. You also have nothing for the search engines to present to searchers that says your website is worth visiting. Content is king is a phrase you'll hear a lot if you hang out with internet marketers. They're not wrong. The good news is that most search engines reward sites that are optimized well for the people who visit your site. 
but you do need to make sure that each page's copy and even elements behind the images and videos accurately tell these search engines what's on that page. So we need to plan for content on your site that helps each page come to life and be useful for the site visitor. We also need to make sure we're adequately telling the search engine robots what's on that page as well. In the meantime, the importance of website content and strategy. This will help you understand more about the all-important content you need to now create to continue building your business website.